I'm Brody and I'm a graffiti artist, illustrator and designer. I'm here for the Damaged Gods uh, live graffiti jam in Cold Park in Hebden Bridge. Um, we're painting here today, I've got eight or nine artists and we're taking out the wall at the skate park. Um, I'm doing it basically because this is what we do, this is what uh, we enjoy doing, what we love doing, the way we make money, the way we pay the bills and how we all come together and work together. Uh, those are the reasons for being here. Just to fill you in a little bit on, on how all this happens, there's three separate crews of graffiti artists. Pretty much everyone's painted together before, but there's some that haven't painted with each other before. Um, and the way it happens really is just everyone clubbing together. We, the, you know, we've got limited resources, a uh, limited amount of paint. If somebody's struggling, the paint gets shared about. Um, if somebody needs to eat, someone will go and buy them something to, to eat. It's kind of carrying on that tradition, you know, the old sort of New York way of doing things where the crew would get formed and people would work together, but also there's that little bit of a battle element that more people are checking out other people's styles, seeing how tight the lines are, how well production's coming together, but um, yeah, it never gets to fisticuffs. It's all done in, in a really kind of friendly, but not too friendly way. <laughs> Um, so yeah, you'll see what happens, the, the, there's three different productions going on today and somehow all three of them will work together. So what is it you're doing today then? It's just, just a bit of a get together for a, it's going to be a couple of faces on the wall and uh, some, some graffiti letter designs and we're doing the background now, trying to get a bit of a, a graphic background using different colours, blending different colours together as well. Started painting in 1985, mainly doing tags and um, I've recently got more into doing canvases, doing big production walls but I mainly do derelict warehouses and and I work with a couple of guys and we all try to theme, us, theme the work and coll collaborate with each one another. And um, for the future, more gallery work and um, more derelict warehouses really. And what would you say to somebody to encourage them if they think, well, I don't know whether I can do it, I don't think I'm good enough? If you've got a passion for something, then just follow your passion. Everyone starts off not very good, it's just practice no matter what you do, whether it's football or art, it's all the same. you just got to keep with it, keep practicing. And now you've got the internet, you've got absolutely loads of options what you can do for, for it to become worldwide. It's, it's like we can do something one day and then the rest of the world can be looking at it the next day, so, or even on the same day. So. Whatever we do today, it just doesn't get seen by people in Edinburgh Bridge, it gets seen by people in Brazil and America and whatever. So would you say it's more cooperative than competitive then? Um, both. Uh, how Definitely does that work then? Well, it's competitive in the fact that it, it inspires you, other people's work inspires you to do something. And the, the, the thing with graffiti, it started... Um, there was a thing called when graffiti artists kind of had battles and they kind of do things, they used to do the trains and um, see, if, see if they could like one up each other, see if they could do the better piece. So there's all, there's that, if you see something where you find really good, your, your aim is to do something what you think, you know, it's either as good or better. And it's, you know, it's like, it's just inspiring. 